I think if I were a prophet, I would preach about the beauty ornaments, things that, you know, makes our skin smooth, and makes our skin sort of radiate and our beauty. I feel like I could be like a um, skin prophet. It's the body, it's the performance of the body. Not even the performance, but it's the exhibition of it. I always attempt to make the landscape, the human body, and the body or the character become sort of a landscape. In my work, I always try to make this various versa um, because I always find so much depth to human body than any other landscape in the world. I, I find that in the human body, or human face, or human stomach, or, 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 or his neck, or, or the neck. I, I find this, um, it's almost like a map of life. It's almost like it's the lament when the body laments. And it's so beautiful when you see when the child is born. It's so fragile, so smooth, and just so beautiful, full of beauty. Um, and then with time, and, and with time, within this, within this wheel, iron wheel of time, the body starts to, I think almost it's shutting itself down, but in a beautiful way as well. It's almost like a, the snake taking off its skin, but it's, it's almost like we, we still keep the skin. We never get to shed the skin, but we keep it. It's almost like a reminder of, of our journeys. There's so much journeys uh, in this, in the process of dying or in the process of aging. Um, and I, I find this very beautiful. I, I, I think the, the true poetry, um, it, it's in the human's face, it's in the human skin, it's the veins. It is, it, it is what I was striving for in, the work, in this work that it's in the eye. Um, bringing all these bodies together and creating and forging what I call God.